Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. It is a Monday, start of a brand new week, and EA are starting off this week with a bang. We're finally going to be getting today the swaps rewards, the swaps SBCs that we have been needing for the past week, right? We've had foot birthday swaps going on for a week now, and we haven't had really even too many leaks about what rewards are going to be coming out, but we do know they're going to be dropped today under the swaps tab in the SBC section. I want to talk about what that means for today as it brings a lot of craftability with some certain upgrade packs that we hopefully will see today and some fun and gamble packs as well that could be dropped with that. So we'll talk about that. That's the biggest part of content today. And we also need to look at the market because yes, fodder is going up because some of the SBCs we got yesterday, but some other parts of the fodder market are low and could be investable. And also there's prices moving every single day with daily player SBCs and the big content we had yesterday. So we're going to take a look at that in more in today's video. If you're excited for it, hit the thumbs up, subscribe if you're new. Let's start off with doing a little bit of a look back to yesterday's content on Sunday. We had the Alex Iwobi SBC, which kind of crazily enough has the exact same stats as the World Cup uh, hero Okocha, his uncle, right? Did not know that. That's pretty crazy. But a five star, four star upgrade for Iwobi, not an insane card. But if this one, if you're an Everton supporter or if you just want a card that you can craft uh, and put an 83 and 86 rated squad in during this next week, if you have duplicates or something like that, not a bad card, a fun one from EA, and a GG for the five-star skills. But the big SBC yesterday was the 88 plus prime mid or World Cup icon player pick for 287s and an 86 squad. You get some decent packs back and a one of three of still not the highest versions of icons in this game. I really thought they might include team of the year icons here, guys. They, they need to get rid of mids, okay? I know it's a player pick. I know it's cool. We haven't had a ton of icon player picks this year, but I think my first reaction to this player pick seeing it was man why are mid icons still in these upgrade packs and player picks they've been in fifa since the start of the game and we are now almost in april so that's the only downside to this but the fact that it's a player pick you've got primes and world cups in there as well you've got a lot of people upvoting this sbc and as you can tell on the market a lot of people are doing it because it's moving prices up and down so again 475,000 coins around uh that price range for this it's not terrible we're going to be able to do it again later on in the week uh but i think it has hype because it's an icon player pick and we just haven't had too many of those this year in fifa uh i mean besides a couple so it's just something we haven't seen a lot of which is i think there's some extra hype for that now in terms of the fodder market what moved right the higher tier stuff actually moved the most with 287s and an 86 rated squad you saw a lot lot of the higher rateds, like 90s, 91s, uh, actually 88s and above, had some pretty good fluctuations upwards yesterday. 40,000 coins for Sun at the moment. You can see from 37k, we saw that dip with uh, squad battle rewards, right? And we saw prices really jump back up from that on this high tier part of the market. I think 90s actually did kind of the best. If you take a look at their graphs, I mean, these guys were down at 51K, upwards of 55, 56,000 coins right now. And the reason why these are going up is, think about a lot of packs that people had opened, you and me included, opened on Friday, or maybe even yesterday with the mini release finally being in packs, a lot of 8220s, 83 doubles, right? That lower tier fodder is plentiful right now in people's clubs. And that's why the really expensive stuff in the top tier of fodder is going up the most. Because if you have some 84s, 85s, and maybe 86 is in the club, you're like, okay, I can go buy a couple 88s, 89s, and a 90 and get this 88 plus uh, player pick done for maybe a 100K, 100K, 200K, something like that. And then boom, you know, it's a lot cheaper and it's pretty easy to do. And I think that's where a lot of this high rated fodder has seen its price increase from. People are having to go and buy that high rated fodder because they don't have it or at least enough of it in the club, but they have the lower tier stuff. So that's also why the lower tier stuff is still really low. I'm not selling my high tier investments yet. I still think with the Mbappe that is out with more player species like Conte and Ozil still to come this week, I would be holding on to this fodder because I don't think it has reached its peak yet. And today, with the swaps rewards, that's going to even bring more packs, more fodder to people's clubs that they would maybe in turn go and do more SBCs to buy the tradable stuff, and it could go up in price even more after today. So I'm holding on all that stuff, but the low tier, look at 84s. 
3.7k. I thought these were low yesterday at 4,000 coins after the uh, squad battle rewards dropped, checking the market, seeing them at 4k. But yesterday, why did these drop? You might be like, Nate, I bought 84s at 4k. What's going to happen? If I were you and you still have coins to invest, and if you wanted to, I think you can double down on the 83s and the 84s because we still have a lot of daily player SBCs like Iwobi that are going to be coming out throughout the rest of this week. Again, Foot Birthday is a promo that historically brings party bags, those types of the, the mixed campaign player pick that we've had recently those sorts of packs could also be released this week I think there's really great potential for the low tier fodder to rise. The reason why that low tier fodder went lower and those 84s are kind of low right now, in my opinion, is because people were doing that icon player pick SBC. If you take a look at some of the packs back that you get from it, you get like a small rare gold players pack. Um, you get a bunch of like really small uh, packs, but they're pretty solid packs. There's like a rare Electrum or something like that in there as well. So I'm just kind of stocking the club here with a couple 84s because I know that I'm going to be needing 84s throughout the rest of this week. I think 83s and 84s at the prices that you see them at right now are very good value. Um, all it takes is one campaign player pick or even a, a pretty good cheap French center back like Desassi. If he comes out and is a cheap price, those cards could go up. I also like 85s if you can get them at 10,000 coins. Uh, or below. I mean, they're not down as much compared to the 84s, but I think 83s to 85s right now are still investable if you want to try to make an investment on some fodder uh, with uh, your coins right now at this time. So that was kind of the content yesterday in the SBC section. I know we spent a good amount of time talking about it, but I think it deserves that time spent because there's a lot going on there. Now, also, we finally had the twin mini release concept, which is crazy, man. I can't believe that these actually, these two cards for Darwin Nunez are copy pasta, the exact same stats, the exact same card. It's just a different dynamic image and then the different skill moves and the weak foot. Kind of crazy. And you know what I think about when I first see this is there's going to be so many people throughout the rest of this year that are going to mistake the cards between themselves and people are going to think they're buying the right version that they want to buy. Maybe they want to buy the five-star skills version of Darwin Nunez and they're going to end up buying the five-star weak foot version because it's the one they see. Or, you know, people are going to list up the five-star skills version at the same price as the five-star weak foot, right? The five-star weak foot version right now is about 100k cheaper than the skills version. This Darwin Nunez is about 840,000 coins right now. Pretty rare card, day one price still. Uh, and then the five-star skills version, which I love the dynamic on this. It's just like, oh, me? I have five-star skills? It's kind of funny, right? 950K for the five-star skill version. And then if you look at the four-star skill, five-star weak foot version, uh, he's kind of like looking away on the dynamic image. So the real, the real way to tell these cards apart is the dynamic image, right? If you, you take a look here, you're like, okay, He's like, oh, me, I got five-star skills. And then this one's like, nah, man, I'm looking back because I didn't get the skills. Think of it that way, and you won't ever get it wrong with this Darwin Nunez card. But let's be honest, very small upgrade for this Nunez. It is definitely overpriced, but the fact that he got the five-star, four-star, and the four-five, and this whole concept is pretty cool. So I think that's why people are paying the price for it right now. I think these cards could be really good to trade with heading into today on Monday as well. We usually do see a decent market rise, and I'm watching a lot of the foot birthdays today. It's going to be a little risky, of course with swaps rewards but some of the foot birthdays and the foot birthday icons i think could have some positive fluctuations today on the market uh because uh people are going to wake up today on monday get their weekend league rewards and want to go and try these cards out so like i mentioned though small upgrade on nunez it's plus ones everywhere like that's that's not at ea sports i mean i know uh, that Darwin Nunez could get some more special cards throughout the rest of this year, but that's that's not good enough. But that's the only upgrade from yesterday that was bad. Zinchenko, man, I'm telling you guys, this is an incredible card. EA did the business. Even an upgrade from his out of positions card, which is hard to compare to because it was out of position, right? 13 pace. Uh, and then plus threes everywhere else around the rest of the card. Uh, but if you look at it from his base left back card, insane, insane boost. Five-star skills, four-star weak foot. I think if I was going to go for a Zinchenko card, I would go for the five-star weak foot version because of the passion on the dynamic image, right? That's the image that I want to see on my Zinchenko. So also the fact that he has the five-star weak foot is, is really, really cool. Um, you know, as a defender. So I would value the weak foot over skills there. 300K for that card uh, is maybe a reason why the Cancelo is dropping a bit in price right now. We, we shouted that on Friday when we first saw the leak and thought about how Zinchenko might look. Um, so that's kind of happening there. Some of your other left backs in the game are down a bit because that Zinchenko is a really good card. Links to some recent Arsenal uh, promo players 
and just looks cracked. Also, Koke can't sleep on this one. Kind of a budget beast, 45,000 coins. He is five star, four star, or four or five, of course. Not an incredible card, but for the value, pretty nice card there for some La Liga links. Um, if you need a midfielder at a cheap budget price. So I think this concept is pretty cool. Um, they didn't have to add a different card design, which is so interesting to me that they can do this without adding another card design, even though there's that little you know symbol on the top of this. But uh, continue to watch these prices throughout the rest of the week. And again, as I mentioned, watch these cards today, all right? Watch them. This Emerson Royale has held steady all weekend at like 99, 100,000 coins. I think with all the Premier League links that are going on right now, you had the Awobi, you've had so much Prem in the past, Last week with footballers a lot of the cards in this uh for birthday promo or premier league you know i know today's a big day for packs and such with the swaps rewards but keep an eye on some of these premier league footballers they might rise up a bit today uh into the morning on monday now speaking of monday the big news like we talked about at the beginning of this video is the swaps right the swaps rewards are coming today it, it's confirmed i know foot sheriff was tweeting yesterday like hey guys tomorrow might be swaps rewards nah man it is legit okay ea posted in the game on their in-game message on last monday a week ago when we first had the swap tokens released they said the 27th is going to be the day we will get the rewards the sbcs in fifa that we can turn in our swap tokens for and i'm happy that that day is today it brings some hype for today but the biggest question we still have is what are going to be the rewards? We do not have the full leaks right now. We don't have the full list. We have a few things here and there of what's going to be included in foot birthday swaps. I mean, I thought yesterday we were going to have leaks for swaps. Maybe we'll still have it today. Maybe it'll just be a surprise right away. I'm fine with it either way. It still feels like more of a surprise right now that we don't know too much. But we have 15 tokens, I, re I believe, released right now. We are halfway through uh, the tokens. And that does include some bonus tokens, of course. But we're finally getting the rewards today. One of four 90-plus prime icon. One of five player pick between fantasy heroes, uh, fantasy foot, road to the final, and foot birthday team one. And then, of course, the 85 times 10 and a guaranteed foot birthday player pack. I think the 85 times 10 and some of these other player picks in here are going to be under 15 tokens. I could see this one of five pick being a little bit more. It might be 20. But I believe EA did say that the... The 85 times 10 was going to be 10 tokens. That's going to be a very popular SBC for people to pick today with the foot birthday icons and, of course, the full team plus mini release now in packs. I think that's a really, really popular pack pick today from the Swaps Rewards. But really what makes Swaps Rewards so nice on this game right now is... I think a lot of people, maybe myself included, we've opened some packs, right? Or today we also should get some upgrade packs that we can grind and those swap rewards are going to help us a lot if we're taking the fodder packs like an 85 times 10 for sure that might help you get an 88 plus sbc done that might help you if you're doing it will be if you're doing pedri if you're doing mbappe or cruyff or rivaldo from saturday right it's just going to bring the craft ability and the uh kind of the attainability of fodder to a whole nother level i know that we've got objectives and we have gameplay stuff that you can get fodder from right now the foot birthday party uh, the daily login upgrade, right, gives you some nice fodder each and every day. Today is going to be day four. We're going to get a lone Marquinhos and a swaps token uh, from this. So I know that not all 15 tokens are available to claim as well, right? Because you have a token here at 10. You've got a token here at seven, which we obviously can't get there yet. So it's going to be interesting to see when the rewards are dropped today, what the best value is going to be and how many tokens we have right now to actually go and claim that. So it might even be pretty tough to get a 10 token 85 times 10 unless you've done the store packs. Uh, and some of the objectives just because of how that grind has taken place so far. But that's really a big day today because swaps programs are always exciting. So hopefully today at 6 p.m., EA was really off yesterday with the content drop. They dropped stuff at 5 p.m. UK. They dropped stuff at 6 p.m. UK. And then the SBC for like the daily login, it resets at 7 p.m. UK. It's all a mess right now in terms of the timing, but shout out to uh, clocks changing for that happening. But that's the biggest thing for today. I hope that we have some big cards as a part of this as well. Foot Sheriff leaked Shearer, right? that we just looked at i hope there's an icon bigger than shearer that is in this set of rewards for foot birthday icons this seems like the type of card that could be in a, uh in the swaps rewards but i hope we get something else um and maybe this is still going to be an sbc later on down the line during this promo so big thing today is the swaps rewards what else could we be getting today we mentioned it right to upgrade packs stock your club on the gold non-rares and rares there's not much to else to say about that every single week it's kind of the same scenario right it just kind of depends on what pack they drop each week whereas is there going to be a lot of hype for grinding that upgrade pack so stock the non-rares stock the rares 
I really hope it's like the 78 plus times three pack. I was a huge fan of that. Maybe it's time to upgrade to the 80 plus times three. I just loved getting three players back for the price uh, of one pack. Now, you know, that same 78 plus three we had during team of the year. I thought that was a great value upgrade. That was during the second week of fantasy foot, I think. So I hope we get a really good value upgrade pack SBC today for that. And then again, with the player SBCs, right? We've got Conte, we've got Ozil, we've got the Sassi and Kolasinac all leaked right now as objectives or SBCs. I really believe those are all going to be SBCs. We'll have to see. But uh, today, today could feel like an Ozil day to me. I thought yesterday would have as well. But hey, who knows? It will be was a leak we didn't have yesterday at the time of the video. It was kind of a later one. So we'll see what we'll get. In we'll definitely get another um, SBC for a player today since we are getting the daily player SBCs there. And then the upgrade packs. Other than that, you know, they could drop another sort of like gamble pack. Uh, I, I wouldn't think there's a really high percentage chance of that happening, but I believe there is at least a little bit of a percentage chance of some other sort of gamble pack dropping today. Usually, I think they would wait, especially with the swaps rewards. I feel like they would maybe wait until later on in the week. But for the market today, like I mentioned, I think people are going to wake up today and want to go out and try some cards. I know there's going to be some weekend league rewards uh, and everything, but the fact, seriously, this Emerson Royale has stuck here at 100,000 coins. Um, I might try to see if I can snag like a snipe or something with a with a chemistry style or maybe hit a bid at like, you know, 95,000 coins because he barely dropped yesterday when a lot of these other foot birthday cards were dropping big time. I think this guy must be pretty legit in game if his price is holding up with all the supply that we have. Boom. I'll take 96 with a shadow. Position change to right back. Hopefully he goes up and I think he'd be a really easy card to get lazy sales on as well because you're going to have so many people that want to use this card right now. So that's not, you know, a guaranteed profit move today. But, you know, just something I feel like could happen. And then for the rest of the market, with a big pack like we saw yesterday for the 88 plus icon pack, you definitely did see some prices fall a bit. Like uh, a Tall's road to the final card, I believe, was 280 plus. He's now down to like 260. I saw that um, the Foot Fantasy Alexis Sanchez took a really big fall in price yesterday. Uh, but he was kind of right around the price of the SBC, right? This guy was like a 550k card. The SBC comes out and uh, he is, you know, a card that I think a lot of people maybe sold off to go and complete the SBC. And I think he's down to like 550k again or something like that. So, you know, definitely there was some investors selling cards off yesterday as they saw the big SBC being dropped. And there were some prices that did take a slight bit of a hit. Uh, and of course, a lot of your foot birthday cards have continued to fall off as well. But I do think that could bring some opportunities like, man, this Pushkas only being 3.4 million coins at the moment is doesn't seem cheap to me, but it also seems like, wow, this is a card that I know so many people would want to try out today, and it's just down so much. Cantona at 4.2, Kuman is, is down, Jarzinho is 7 million coins. So, I mean, there's definitely a few of these cards right now. I'm flipping uh, a couple out-of-packs cards at the moment. You see my coin balance down a little, and I still have all of my fodder. But I just think these, these icons are going to be cards that people want to try out all week this week. And uh, especially for the ones that had the five star five stars. And if you can time the flips right and you get their card prices, um, you get their buys at really good prices. I think you might be able to make some coins on some of these, especially some of the usable ones, man. Like to be able to pay 450K to get a Kumin uh, that has a nice pace boost and not the biggest upgrade ever, for being honest, but it just looks nice because it's 80 pace. You know, he, he did a good job moving on the market yesterday. A lot of people traded with him. So I do think you'll see some foot birthdays rising back up today in price a little bit. But the focus today is really all about those swaps rewards and especially how many swap tokens we have versus how good the rewards look versus what can we grind towards and really today also begins the hey i only have like six or seven tokens right now i gotta get grinding on the foot birthday party objective right to get a swap token from this you know you get a i think there's another swap token in here yeah so there's a token oh no just kidding there's a, a lingard I think there's only one token that's actually just kidding. It's the, at the very beginning. But however many tokens you have, I think today is going to really put that grind uh, into motion once again. All right, I got to get moving again. Got to do daily SBCs. Maybe do a store pack if I need to. And uh, today's going to be a big pack day as well with those rewards being dropped. I think a lot of people are going to want to open some of those packs, myself included. I've got some of those packs still in the store. Saved up for today's stream. So if you want to see me open those and you want to open some packs with us on SharePlays and stuff, hit that link down below in the description. We're going to have a blast today and make some coins while doing it. So if you enjoyed today's video, smash thumbs up, comment down below if you have any questions, and subscribe if you're new. It's been Nathan Foot Account, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace. Out.